Our next guest says the retail sector is, quote, facing a tsunami of challenges, and one of them is, of course, shrink. Former chairman and CEO of Home Depot and Chrysler, Bob Nardelli, joins us now. Bob, it's good to talk to you. Why, why is this problem, and, and you talk to everyone in the retail sector, why is it getting worse? Well, Sarah, first of all, it's good to be back uh, on with you today. It is getting worse. Uh, you know, we had the issue when I was uh, running Home Depot, uh, back in 2000 and 2005, and we took all types of precautionary measures to try and reduce that. I think I, I just saw a number where in 2021, shrink at the retail level was about $96 billion. Target said they had a $500 million hit for profitability. Part of the reason, I think, Sarah, is we're, we're in a lawless society right now. I mean, you see all of these clips on TV where people feel empowered to go in and do a, a, a grab and dash and that's, that's impacting, you know, the, the cost of operations. Now, some of them have found, said, well, that's why we have insurance. But insurance then transfers to higher prices to the innocent consumers like you and I. So it is a little bit of this lawless society. It's a little bit of, you know, we, we don't want to create this, this optics out there of, of, of theft. We call it shrink. So I think that's one of the pressures. The other pressure we, we still have, of course, is, is inflation is still high. We see consumer credit cards about a trillion dollars right now. And and so all of those things are converging on, as you said, I, I call it a tsunami of challenges. And I think right now the level of complexity in running a public company is as great as I've ever seen. And I've been, been at this for 52 years now. And I think the challenges are as big and as broad as I've ever seen them, Sarah. Just, we'll, we'll talk more about some of the other challenges, but just in terms of this theft problem, is, so is it on the retailers to spend more on their own security? Because because it sounds like what you're saying, it's a broader political sort of law enforcement issue. But in the meantime, they've got to protect their product and their customers and their employees. Well, I, I would tell you that at least my, my awareness with retailers is they are doing that. You know, they're putting in uh, video surveillance, they're putting in uh, detectors so that if someone walks out, you know, it rings a bell and so forth, RFID and so forth. But the point here is just like, you know, we saw those young ladies who have been terminated now because people walked in, grabbed uh, garments and walked out and they tried to stop them. They lost their job. So, again, corporations are trying to dampen this down. But I, I would tell you one of the one of the comments I saw is, well, now we know we can go into those stores and we're not going to be... Uh, confront it. We can walk in, walk out, whatever we want. So, again, it's back to this lawless society and this culture that we're allowing this this kind of behavior at the retail level, sir. It's, it's just, uh, it's extremely challenging and costly and, and really, uh, you know, an issue for the employees who are trying to protect their premises but are told not, and, and for their safety, I understand that, but there's got to be some happen, happening in here where we step in and take control of this again like we used to, sir. Yeah, uh, Bob, it's David. I mean, uh, I want to make it clear, though, and I know you know this, and it's not as though shrink didn't exist prior to these last couple of years. I think it has gone up a bit as a percentage of overall retail sales, but it was still a significant problem two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, even back to the days when you were running Home Depot, wasn't it? Yes. We Look, uh, I'm not trying to say we were, we were pristine and we didn't have a shrink problem, but it was nothing of the magnitude uh, nothing of the magnitude that we're seeing today. I mean, there was some, uh, you know, self-policing. There was some rule of law out there. You know, people didn't walk in and walk out with paint sprayers and hand tools. It just wasn't accepted. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't part of the culture. Today, it's 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 a dash and grab, and people can walk in and take whatever they want, and they know they're not going to be confronted, David. So it's it, it has gotten significantly worse, and it significantly added cost to running retail operations. And now we see them closed, right? We just saw where, where Old Navy flagship store was closed in, in, in San Francisco. We see Walgreens. We see Starbucks. We see a number of stores just, you know, folding their tent and going away, David, because they can't control theft in those operations.